Hello, today I'm going to be giving you a introduction to HTML, HTML and CSS for web development. We are going to start with just HTML, I can't talk. We are going to start with just HTML right now, but we're going to create a HTML and CSS thing. thing. <laughs> so, I'm using Microsoft VS Code, Visual Studio Code, as you can see up here. Um, you might be, if you're in school using this, you might be using something such as code.org that's just fine but just know that's why I've got a different interface than you we can still do near the exact same things just looks a little different so first thing if you're on code if you're on code.org you already have these two files made but if you're on Microsoft Visual Studio code you've got nothing lucky you this is what you introdu introduced to so I'm assuming you have a blank folder all you're gonna do new file First one, once again, code.org, code you've already got this, index.html, gtml, well, HTML, html, oh my gosh. Okay, now we've got this, we're gonna exclamation mark enter, and you should have none of this. Okay, this is what you probably, okay, this is what you have. This always throws a bunch of extra stuff in there. We don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to go ahead, create another thing, style.css. And here we go. We've got something working here. So all, we are not going to touch CSS right now. We're going to go to index. If we go here, right click on index, right click, open with live server. A Chrome window will open for me. Of course, not where I want it to. We're going to go, let's do this. Make this minimized. Bring it over here. Okay, that works. Just a complete mess, don't mind me. So, we're just going to go ahead and so, in code.org, this would be like your preview window. Ooh, I can see my mouse. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I gotta stop. So, this is like your preview window in code.org. This is my preview window. It's just kind of a different... Actually, it is really close to the same place, isn't it? It is. So all we're gonna start by doing is making text appear on the screen. Really easy. Theoretically, if you had nothing here, it would work. But we need to know how to. You need to know how to make use actual HTML tags to make things appear. A, a paragraph. Eight. Okay. I'm gonna start this out by saying. If you don't like computers, you're gonna hate this. This course. If you have a choice, if you hate computers, don't do it. Because. You will, this will be torture. But for, if you're like me and love using computers, this will, you, probably, you will probably really enjoy this. Okay? I'm giving you a fair warning now. If this is in school, you're using this tutorial. First of all, thank you for using my video. I, I feel touched. <laughs> but you will, if you don't like this and you're in school, you're not going to like it. I'm sorry. But it's HTML and CSS are two very easy languages. Later, I will get into JavaScript, which is a little bit more advanced. But in school, I know where I went, where I took my first computer science class, I didn't use any JavaScript whatsoever. So we're not going to get into that till way later, though. But the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go. So the, these are called tags here. The I dot type HTML tells the computer, "Hey, this document is written in HTML." Okay. H, this is the beginning of HTML. This is the end of HTML. A closing tag will always have the forward slash right before the main. Okay? The head. And this can be referred to sometimes as the metadata. This is where we put, like, a, when we get ready for CSS, we're going to go throw our style sheet in there. And anything like that. This is where it puts extra data. Body is what appears, mostly what appears here. So we're going to start up to make a paragraph. Or something simple like that we will go a tag is always in this type of form okay we're gonna go, just put a p in here that's the beginning of a paragraph hello this is my par paragraph we're gonna put another thing here we're gonna put the forward slash and i guess it appeared for me but you will have to go like that and right over here hello this is my paragraph that is your output now you might want to put a title in here Make something bigger. You can use use the H1. 
Mine will automatically appear since I'm using VS Code. You, yours might not appear. Okay. All you have to do is type this in. The forward slash h1. And this will... I'm just going to say this is my title. And then it's nice and big. Now, you can also use h2. This is a smaller title. And it should be slightly smaller. See that? You can go, it goes from h1 to h6. So you may, you can go all the way down to h6. This is a tiny title. And apparently I didn't have put a space in there. But you can see how much tinier that is. Now you can, you can change all this in the CSS when we get there. But like I said, we're going to get into that later. But congratulations. If you've done this, you have just written some html congratulations that will be the end of part one of this tutorial series and when we get in part two we will go ahead and get into including a css style sheet thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye